he keeps his word. He keeps his word. God keeps his word. Sometimes I think that we have a hard time believing that. Jeremiah, the 28th chapter, the 6th verse, tells us that he keeps that which he has prophesied. He keeps that which he has prophesied. So then what is the purpose of a prophetic word and what is the purpose that God will make note and that he would pay attention to keep what he has prophesied? And what need would he have after he had given us the scripture? After he has given us the written word? What need would he have to yet still speak another word? Another word to us and call it the word of prophecy. Why would he prophesy? God makes an appointment with every individual that is in this building that just in case by any chance that you have been raised up in an atmosphere or you have been raised up in a place and you have not gotten an opportunity to read the whole entire Bible sometimes there are things that are missing for your life that you don't even know that is written and so the need that God would have to prophesy is that when he sees that something is getting ready to catch you off course and send you in a direction that is going to alter what his plan is for your life. The kind of God that we serve, he is so profound and he is so on point that even when in your, you're in your ignorance, the Lord will use the mouth of somebody to prophesy to you, to catch you before the devil get his hands on you. The scripture finished saying that the Lord prophesies that he may pull us out of the hands of the enemy, that he would grab a hold to us and snatch us out of, out of captivity. And see, the thing about the prophetic word is this, that it takes a certain kind of person to grab a hope to something that God is saying. A lot of people say, well, you know what? I just wish somebody would just read me this and tell me this. But the only person that can grab a hope to a prophetic word and that word become profound enough that minutes after it is spoken, it transforms your life is a person that knows that I got a situation that can't nobody solve but God. Can't nobody, can't nobody work it out but the Lord. If God don't speak, on this situation, I don't know which way I'm going to go.